So, um, oops. This was meant to come up earlier. But, it's coming out now. So, congratulations, you get this video. Scarlet and Violet. So, first up, you will need the models for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. What you do is go to this link here. And then go to I'm just gonna go to where it is located. Here it is. Scroll down, find this whichever ones you need, such as Miss Pokey, Pokey Animations, Trainers NPC, Trainers NPC Common, Trainers Player, and Trainers Shared Textures. So what we will be doing now is Pokemon is Pokey.zip, which is the Pokemon files. However, if you are going to use your player character, you will need to get these two files due to the player the player textures, the player outfits using shared textures across all, across a bunch of other characters, trainers, etc, etc. So download this file, download, standards, download. I already have these downloaded, so I won't do that. You will need to do it because you do not have it downloaded if you're following this tutorial already or whatever. I don't care. So, once we once you have downloaded that, extract it in, into a folder so right click extract, right click extract all, and cl click extract. I have it extracted up here as you can see. So once you've done that, you go in here, go in here, and go in here. You will be faced with these PM uh, PM numbers. So what I figured out so far is nine is the four PM four nines is the substitute doll, and that. PM zero four zeros is the egg. So if you want either of those, do that. Go use that for. But for now, we are going to use a completely random model. In this showcase, I will be a showcase. <laughs> so, but if you want to know what Pokemon files are, there are including the new ones. You can go here and check out which ones you want. So next, so we will going, so we will be using. Hmm, let's see, let's see. What new one do we want? Let's go with the. Hmm. Sea toddle. Sea toddle. Yeah, sea toddle. Ten fifty one is its is its number. So if we go to right here, oh look, we're lucky. So if we double click in here and in here, we we'll face with this. Nothing, just fancy little files. Now these fancy little files are annoying because you can't do anything with them as of, as of right now. So what we will be needing to do is go and open up Quick BMS. If you have done the previous video, you probably know what to do by now, which is you can go do here, get the same folder. It's not, that one is no longer available inside of the whatever it's called so once we do that we go over here scroll down to 1051 ba -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -ba -dum -ba 1051 open up here put a little star because it's spatial open and then we go over here control copy control paste enter and then save now this outputs all of the funky DDS textures. Yours might not show it. What we'll do now is make a new folder called bad text, standing for bad textures, because these are bad and they are useless and we will never use them again except for, except for uh, converting them into a PNG. So once we get those in there, we will open up Noesis. Now it takes a little bit to load, but I have it already loaded up. So next. Whatever. So we will find 1050, 1051. Come on, scroll. 1051, open that up. Bad text. And now we have the funky textures. So now that we have the stuff, we go to tools, batch process, DS is right there, OBG, change that to PNG. We change this exactly to what 
I wanted to show you. No, come on, come on, baby. Right here, right to this exact path. Control copy. This is that path in path. Dollar sign in path. Dollar sign backward slash. Dollar sign in name. Dollar sign dot period. Dollar sign out. O U T X T X T out text. It's out text. There's a difference. And then dollar sign again. You can type it in if you want. I'm not because I'm lazy and it takes a while. This yin symbol is my black slash because of how my computer is configured. Yours won't have that. Yours will have the backslash instead. Click OK. And this is how it will look. It has all the textures ready to convert. And you click Export. Once it's done, you'll click OK. Close, Minimize. And then you go into Bad Text. You'll click right here. Click Type. Scroll down, select the top PNG, and select the bottom PNG, and then move it over in here. Now, here is where things get funny. Used to, we'd go into 3ds Max. Now, no longer. Now, we just go into a Blender instead. Go into Blender. Hello, update from Hydrate of the Future. Well, that geeky from the future. Um, in this tutorial, I show how to download this vi this video where I show you how to download this and I go to this code. However, this thing has been updated. Instead, you will go to releases and then download the zip file. Once you download the zip file to your Pokemon folder, i.e. I have it right, already installed right here. You will now, in Blender, this works with 4.0 now. In Blender. I do that by reflex, sorry. In add-ons. Let me just remove the old version. Okay. You click install. Go to where you downloaded it. For me, it's in the PKMN folder. And the do not unzip it, leave it as zip. You click the zip folder, folder click install add-on, and you enable it. Then once you enable it, import trmdl, go to wherever you download the Pokemon, fold, Pokemon file, import it, x 90 degrees, and there you go. Now, for Pokemon that have some sort of emission like this, you will just need to turn on the emission on by one. Or just lower it by whatever value you want. But there you go. I'm joking. Anyway, <laughs> if you want to see how the model is, how the see the bones click on front gx 1.5 now if you want to see if you want the shiny version of it you will do file import trmdl click that and then click load shiny import and then it will load the shiny version instead 90 gx negative 1.5 and there you go, the shiny and regular versions. Ta -da. Eyes are hidden behind the eyelids because bone shapes and bones. Fun, fun, fun. So there you go, yeah, that's it. Game over. You can leave now was I on a time limit when I made this video because um I spoke way too fast and way too distiltedly. Jeez.